Just two dudes in a K truck. Sorry, just close. You always bring the heat, right? But this is like miniaturized. Yeah. This is exactly what I would do to any other race car, but in a K truck. It's dumb. This is so ridiculous. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know, first of all, I don't even know what it is. Right, yeah. So everyone's probably gonna think it's a Honda, but it's actually a 1990 Mitsubishi Mini Cab. And it was four wheel drive. It's not four wheel drive anymore, mainly because it's lowered about six, seven inches. And like the axles would be crazy, plus the motor that come in it, I don't want it, and all that stuff like that. But so what was the story behind this? You got it, or was it like a shop truck? Or so we got this on Marketplace, I think for like 1400 bucks. It literally had like hand painted scenes on it. Like mountains and water. It has said like art card on it. So I think someone used it for like selling art out of like art shows and stuff like that. In Florida? Yeah. Okay. And it was right before a, like a huge hurricane. I saw it on Marketplace. I was like, I'm gonna go save this old truck for it ends up in the ocean. But yeah, so it kind of started off as a little shop truck. We got it running and driving. You know, we were kind of wanting to do something different, which is very hard to do something that's never been done before, right? I don't know, it just kind of seemed fun. We call the truck a little scrappy because a lot of these parts are like, this is this whole, Aero box is from the wing from the Z, like <laughs> a different wing that actually came off the Z. Right. So it was just like <laughs> cut up parts we had for that. Scrap, These are, scrap car. Yeah. So like mirrors are from old mirrors that we used to have on the Z. Uh, just a bunch of stuff, and it's all been refreshed and finished. So, but yeah, it was just a cool way to also work with our partners and like you know Robbie's you know radiator never gets displayed like this. Right. Because Wait, the, this is the radiator? Yeah. And this is, you made this little intake Everything. out of carbon yeah. for it? Yeah, so it's a scoop and you know, it feeds a radiator and kind of comes through. So all the aero practices that we would do on a regular race car, we still wanted to stay true to this little truck. I have so many questions. Yeah. So then what engine is in it? So the tr thing that I've learned about SEMA is, is that cars show up and they're done, right? That's the idea. But we deliberately kept the stock engine in it because we want a story after SEMA. So we've got a turbo Hayabusa motor for it and kind of like the Sierra Alpha car like, is real fast. This thing's probably very similar in weight. I think we want to do some dumb stuff like possibly run Pikes Peak with it. We're definitely going to do time attack events, but we always have a single seat in our race car. So we deliberately put two seats in it. You know what I mean? We want to be able to take people for a ride and something that they can never experience ever. Wait, so the stock motor, is it 600 cc? 660. 660 makes what? 40 horsepower? Yeah, maybe. If that? Yeah. And the then Hayabusa is like, what, 200 something? It'll, it would probably make conservatively about 250 on boost. And then do you know how much this weighs around? I think it weighs probably about 1,400 pounds. The it bed actually, more is than really I heavy yeah. on this. And so it's obviously a full carbon bed. Yeah, there's nothing metal. Oh, there's not really a whole lot of metal on the car anymore. It looks so good. Right? I think it does, yeah. Is this was uh, your vision from the beginning? Is this something that you've been wanting to do for a while? Uh, it's hard to see this thing in the shop and like not want to do big arrow on it, right? Like it was just lowered on some T's and it was just a cool little shop truck, but I you guys, just- You guys are straight I just up. see the Z right next to it and I'm like, wouldn't that be really cool to put the same wing that we run on our every race car on this thing, right? What you guys do, it seriously is so impressive. It blows my mind. So then let's talk about the back to the front because I don't really know where to start. So then what is left of the bed? Is it nothing? Like, so this so is all I, new? I made a square tube structure, essentially to hold carbon fiber sheets on it. So I kind of wanted it to be a race truck, but also I wanted to have some character like these still fold down like the factory ones. Oh, right. So okay. I still wanted them to hinge. I still wanted to do that. It's the only aftermarket part that I could find for this truck is the clear taillights. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, so. I love your plate. Right? Okay. We're, it's educational because everyone calls them key trucks. Uh huh. And I say, read the plate like little John would read it. Right. Okay. Okay! It's uh, leaf springs are gone, so it's, you know, four four link setup. It's all Motown. race truck Did you underneath. make all of that stuff? Yeah. 
What What is that rear end out of? Uh, that's actually the stock rear axle, and it looks to be pretty good. It's got a third member, so I think there's going to be some gearing options in it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this so in the exhaust, amazing. I love this diffuser. This is uh, so we have a diffuser molds that we can basically. It's very modular, and so this is a really good example of a rear diffuser that we make out of the same molds for our, you know, my Z, and also the K truck come off the same stuff. But this just, is this is so neat. I see the way the brakes are. They're drums, but like they're. I guess the fluid goes into one and then it goes to the yeah, other. Yeah, that's terrible, right? <laughs> how so, did you? How did? I mean, did you have to make custom lines and stuff? All yeah. For all so that? we make custom lines at our shop. So we're, you know, part of the other business we do is Hell Performance USA. So we make custom brake lines, and it's really cool that they don't make, they don't exist for this truck. So we can just make them. So we are. That's one of the list of things we're gonna do. We're gonna do a full disc conversion on it. But they don't make things, so we have to make them. So we're, I'm in ch uncharted territory on some some stuff. I love the radium tank. It's right. so small too. Like, it's a six gallon. I was talking to Aaron over six there. Six gallons? Yeah. I was talking to Aaron, the owner of radium, and I said, "What? It's FIA approved. What would this ever go in except for this thing?" So yeah. I, mo motorcycles? I don't know. ATVs? Maybe this is so, me, but yeah. This is so small, but I think it's so funny that you put the filler here. I wanted to display stuff, right? Which you could just fill it here. You could. <laughs> but you why could. not? But I, I love how nicely everything is displayed. You can this, see the Moton suspension. You can see your cage work. Yeah, I mean, like, coilovers almost always get hidden, right? Yeah. So I deliberately made them a little extra longer so we can attach them to the bed, you know, and I just thought that would be cool. And then also we can adjust them without just, getting underneath the truck. I've never seen this before. So the fuel filler is there's some the trophy, wing. Yes, there's it, some trophy truck stuff going on because I'm a huge fan of trophy trucks. So, yeah, you know, there's some stuff in there. There's, this is like a, a weird thing that I just kind of wanted to do my thing with, right? So then how did you figure, like for this, th which by the way, I absolutely love the fact that this is functional. Mir functional. It's mirrored on the other side. Yep. And then I'm assuming this is the oil cooler. Yeah. I see, okay. Yeah, and then it you know, ties into our remote, you know. Uh, oh, that's where you change the oil? Yep. Or, or, or the oil filters right here? Yeah, we wanna know, uh, again, work with our partners, be able to display some stuff so that, yep, got our buddies. The lightest battery possible, right? Anti-gravity. Yeah, we were really worried about weight on this truck, so we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I, I'm kind of like tripping over my words because of how many cool things I want to talk about. But yep. let's just talk about this. How did you even figure this out to make these panels this way? This was for hard. aero or for yeah. it was design. Really, it was hard because the trucks don't come with anything below here, so it's like really open. So like I wanted to make sure that like it didn't look really weird because it's a big flat area. So kind of how we. A trick your eye a little bit is we add some shape to it, but it also like worked out good because now we're getting you know the turbulent air off the tire. I know it's a little truck; it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but we still wanted to use those same practices that we would do on our race cars. This is what blows me away. All of this looks like it's going to be functional, and you're still retaining like the body, the shape of it, but it just looks so cool. It kind of reminds me of a lot of those like big rig race, yeah, I, race vehicles. I definitely that took are, some inspiration from the Euro uh, road race trucks. Yeah, I think that those look really cool. So I also love the fact that you could have just made this flat and then you could have just put the wheel and tire combo here, but you went out of your way to make this over fender. Yeah, I did, and that was a lot of work to, to make that happen. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's a goofy little truck that the theme was to build it like how we would build any other car. It just looks so good. So then tell me about the wheel and tire combo then. Yeah, so uh, we worked with work wheels on this and you know, I've been eyeballing these wheels for a while. I think they're very truck looking to me, but also very JDM, right? Obviously they're work wheels. So I thought this was a perfect wheel for this truck. You know, work bang these out really, really quick for us. But I mean, it's rad. We got extended studs with titanium lug nuts on a K truck. <laughs> so cool. So 15 by? Uh, 15 by eight, it's a 225, 45, 15, slick. This has got to be so <laughs> much fun to drive. I could not imagine driving this thing. Well, we will definitely have to go for a ride. You're, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get out of grid I life and you wait. and I are gonna cut I would laps. love that, I would love that. It'll be the slowest laps ever, but 
I that's bet okay. We'll, I bet we'll have the biggest smiles. There. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. So the cage, this ties into every bit of yep, the... Yeah, ties into the chassis. So it goes forward? It does How does it work? So right now, it just is like a bed cage, right? Okay, got it. So, but um, it actually unbolts from the truck. So at some point, I'm going to make a front section, but kind of still... I need to think about that because it's a little challenging, obviously, with a little truck to do door bars and stuff like that. So I didn't want to rush into doing that just yet, um, but it's way safer having this than nothing. How long did it take for you to build this? Five weeks. That's it? Yeah. Just head down. Head firmly down, but I mean, <laughs> we've, this is our thing. We know what we're doing and like, we painted the truck in house. Every, this thing never leaves, so we're kind of, on our own schedule to knock things out as opposed to like, all right, I gotta get it to a painter because he needs three weeks to paint it. You know what oh, I mean? You painted this? Yeah. So then, this is just, what is this then? Is this a different so, kind of texture? Uh, I or? wanted to do something different. So it's a Raptor bed liner and then we did, we painted over top of it. Ah, uh, so that's why there's some texture on it. Yep, so it's, uh, but also I want it color matched. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, Alpine white, BMW color. I really love this color. This is really cool too. Right? I love this. I kind of wanted just, to extend the cab, make it a little, look a little racier, uh -huh. but then I think it would have looked really weird with just like a carbon piece stuck to it. So <sighs> yeah, I, I wanted to I just, love the shape. just show that it's still carbon, but um, it wanted to flow with the cab. So cool. So then was the condition of it pretty terrible. good? Terrible. Oh, yeah, it, it, was it really had a bad. lot of rough, rust and? It wasn't rusty, but just like, I mean, it came from Japan. So this isn't a US truck. Some of these did come in the US, but this, probably spent most of its life, you know, I think like, I'm thinking like at a fish market where people were just bumping into it on a regular basis or carts were hitting it. It was just riddled with dents. So you had to do a lot of body work yeah. too then. Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, this shine on this, it, it would have never looked to this clean probably even from the factory. Oh no, they were just complete utility vehicles. Yeah, they, they were just something, and you couldn't even go on the highway with them because they were so slow. They still are. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Let, let's talk about the front. So yep. then this all functional diffuser. Yeah, this is exactly how we would make one for any of the other cars. And you know, we we like our little pit pins up front, the quick little billet disconnects. But you know, the, these are our, we make the splitter rods, we make these bases. And you made this too? Everything, yeah. I can't believe you did this in five weeks. Yeah, it's a lot of work. So tell- But tell you think from a business standpoint, like, you know, just as you, like, the projects that are yours aren't funded by someone else. So we have to get it done fast because we got other, you know, and we did work on other cars in the shop at the same time, but you know, like time is money. You gotta build these things quick because you can't take two years on a project that makes you no money. <laughs> I'm just looking at it and it just looks so right. It looks like a toy and it it may be one of my favorite cars of the show. I've, I've haven't seen much, but it's different because I've been, Coming to see my We've been doing this for a while, and I'm done kind of bringing things that have been done. Yeah. And so, Jamie and I, my beautiful wife, we talked about this a lot, and then we thought like this would really be something that is original. You know what I mean? It, it's. I think the Hoonigan truck is probably this something else that kind of catapulted this, but like. You know, they did a great job with theirs, but as far as like an actual race truck, it doesn't exist. I mean, I scoured the internet just tr trying to find somebody else that did something like this. So. Yeah. Look at this. This is like a, like a true truck. Yeah. You, I, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like driving, it's like a, driving school a school bus. bus. Yeah. 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 Can you sit in it? Can I just see yeah. you sitting in it? I, I just want to see. Oh my goodness. There's, that is so neat. Bro. That's how you check how much tire you have left. You just, you open just the opened the door. I cannot believe how good this is. I mean, yeah. Do you, you, you even made this little piece to extend the fender. I did, and I wanted to be nice and clean, like have that you know little lip, little nice little touches to make it. Just that that little thing alone. Yeah, it makes so it way much, harder. So much harder so to So much do work. That. The molding. I got me a Porsche style like pulls to open the doors. Oh, this actually, Yep. activates it. Yeah, so that's Got how you it. open the door, you just pull it. So, so yeah, just sit yeah. in, I just wanna see, how the heck did you get it all in there? Right? The, Cause do the seats even, the stock seats have like a backing at all? They're like, I mean like boat seats. They're really, they're not much of anything, the factory seats, but. Oh wow, you are really in there. 
Yeah, you're not driving a truck, you're wearing a truck. It's uh There's exact shape of you right. there. Yeah. For you to fit in there. Yeah. No more, no less. Yep. Oh this is wow. It. So like step on the brakes here. <laughs> so the pedals are interesting because you like rest your feet on them. Um, so that's something in the future I'm going to change to where it's more like a normal driving position where your feet are touching the floor. So the engine is in the back. It's like right in the middle of the cab. Okay, right in the middle. All yeah. Right. So it's, then it's seriously this big. It's this long. It's wait, a little three cylinder. When you put the Hayabusa in there, do you think you're going to have to? I'm going to put it directly in the middle of the truck. So and it's are, a little bit easier to service. And you're going to have to probably have a bigger radiator and nope. a bunch of other stuff. Nope. No? No. Nope. Oh. That's a radiator's pretty big. Can I just join you on this side? I just want to see. Yeah. So, Haltech Electronics? Yeah, which for right now, it's powering a carbureted motor, but we have everything we need. So we got a PDM, it's actually got, here, I'll turn on the lights on for you. Oh, wow. It's functional. Oh yeah, this thing runs and drives. This thing's done. It just needs a motor. So, yeah, so we've got, you know, high beams, low beams, turn signals. Amazing. All this stuff. And you, you do the bed liner on the inside too? Here? Yeah, because I wanted it to be durable. I don't want people to think like, oh, I don't want to scratch anything up. That's why I did it on the roof, on the floor, on the back. Um, yeah, it's even got a headliner in it. It's pretty crazy. It's stupid, right? What a great K vehicle. <sighs> you outdid yourself. Again. You think so? Again. I think, I think it's kind of silly. You know, I wh when I saw you at Grid Life, you were so excited to tell me about it. I did, but, but I can't show anything. Yeah, you couldn't show anything, but I'm glad I, I'm and able to see it now because- I'm also glad it didn't take five years because I could barely contain myself for the couple weeks, you know. So, so cool. I'm just gonna sit in here with yeah, you. come on in there. This is actually, you gotta, this you, is a- You oh, have to cut your geez. legs off. Oh, geez. You're tall. Oh, wow. There you go. Okay, so- So this is something I'm gonna oh, do. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna oh, cut- Check this yeah. out. <laughs> There okay. You go. There you go. All right. It, this I is like cut this out because it's kind of a little close for knees. Obviously. This is uh, like a budget airline. Yeah. And what's crazy though is this truck's little. This is just a replica of the factory dash. I didn't mm. like make it bigger. I didn't make it smaller. This is just the shape of the dash. Just two dudes in a K truck. truck. Ha! All right. Okay. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. It's so tight in here. Yeah. Nice. Hey. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. There's two dudes on the Broadway mirror, of course. Uh, you, you've really thought of everything. Oh, dude, do you know how many times I sat here just like making the engine noises? Wait, is that the ejecto cito cuz? Ejecto cito cuz! All right. Watch out. Yeah, watch out. Don't push it. Yeah, but it's got like all your like normal lights and shit and soup stuff. Dude, this is incredible. Thank you so much for building this. I'm so The happy. world needs this. Yeah, I need this. All right? I need to see this. <laughs> so cool. You can't, you never disappoint. I love it. I love it so much. Can you imagine Larry Chin photo cresting the hill at Coda with the tower in the back, little cage. Shoot, track. or Laguna Seca. Dude, right? Down the corkscrew. Dude, right? Oh. I, might, I might take Valentino Rossi's. Since <laughs> it's a truck, I might take that route. Just. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. If you wanna support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.